Well, that's what I like about what's happening with country right now. See, like the, the shirt that you're wearing yeah. right now, that's what it's getting back to. <laughs> and, and, hey, Chip. <clears throat> yeah, that's, oh, Johnny Paycheck, yeah. my God. That, but that's what it's, uh, it seems like country music is getting back to is the original kind of outlaw roots. Yeah. And to me, that's what country music's all about. Have you watched, uh, is it Mike Judd? Who does the voice of King of the Hill? Oh, Mike Judd, yeah. Uh, have you watched the, the Tales from the tra- from the Tour Bus uh-huh. series, animated series? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you got to see it. <laughs> what, who who was in it? Uh, they have one with, with uh, Johnny Paycheck, and they have some with Waylon Jennings. They have some with um, just different, like the old, like the outlaw country. Oh, George yeah. Jones. Man, oh, that God. dude was crazy. If you I, listen to some of the stories. <laughs> isn't he the one that uh, rode the uh, lawnmower to oh, get yeah, beer because yeah. <laughs> he wasn't allowed to drive? He uh, <laughs> When he was heavy on all the stuff he was taking, yeah. he had split personalities. And he would talk to himself on the tour bus, and he had one personality was called the duck. And he would talk like Donald Duck <laughs> to himself. And he got mad, and he kicked the personality, the fake imaginary friend off the bus and then he went down the road and he made the tour bus driver turn around and go back and pick him up <laughs> god if you're like you may think you have a crappy job out there but imagine being like the like the tour manager for yeah. him at, during that time all the craziness you had to go through mm-hmm. people like that man it's a once in a lifetime thing you know yeah see it's, it's going to be hard to get another george jones but I, no. it's fun hearing those stories, though. Yeah, and him and Tammy Wynette, they fought like cats and dogs. But if you listen to all their stories, they were meant for each other because they were both the same. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's opposites attract. But if you ain't got a little bit of a lightning in your yeah. relationship, you know, yeah. it, ain't, it ain't a real relationship. Oh, you got to watch it, though, and listen to the story about Porter Wagner. Oh, I can't God. talk about it on air, but you just got <laughs> let's just say that Porter was supposed to be messing around with Tammy Wynette, oh. and George follows him in the urinal. <laughs> oh, God. See, I, but people back then, man, like, I see, uh, there, there's a lot of fakeness, I believe, going on in, like, real mainstream music. They'll be singing about stuff that they've never went through in their lives. Yeah. Back in the day when you had the outlaw country scene and all that, them guys were living that lifestyle. Yeah. I, I seen this, uh, this, like, meme on Facebook one time. And it said that uh, you may be high, but you'll never be Johnny Cash eating strawberry cake in a bush high. Oh, yeah, I've and seen that. Yeah, and Johnny, <laughs> buddy, he's blown away. Yeah, just can, eat, he just, he's it, happy. It, yeah, big <laughs> strawberry cake, just <laughs> mouthfuls. <laughs> oh. uh, and and uh, Willie Nelson and uh, Merle Haggard, you remember that like little joint album they released a few years yeah. ago? They have one song on there that's dedicated to Johnny Cash. Mm-hmm. And at one point in the song, they're like kind of sharing their favorite stories yeah. of Johnny. And I think it was Willie's story. But uh, he said that one time uh, Johnny Cash brought a casket up to his hotel room and then called a room service and laid in the casket and apparently scared yeah. the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it's it was fun back then, you know? Uh Leonard Skinner, I don't know if it was their first or second tour, they opened up for Who, The Who. Mm-hmm. And The Who would complain about how wild they was, Leonard <laughs> Skinner. And, and you can see Keith Moon, you, you know, yeah. he, was, he was wild, he was out there. Oh, yeah. Well, a couple years later, I can't remember what year it was, uh, David Allen Cole opened up for Leonard Skinner. Oh, and God. they was afraid of David Allen Cole because his tour bus, he had... A Bengal tiger that slept with him every night. <laughs> it don't surprise me. It, it really don't surprise me. <laughs> I haven't heard that one, but considering David Allen Co., yeah, anything's possible yeah. with that man. Is he? Yeah, yeah, he's still alive. He was uh, in Lexington yeah. like two years ago, and I couldn't go to the show, and it broke my heart, buddy. Whenever I'm drinking, and uh, you never even call me by my name comes uh-huh. on, whoo, that's a. Uh, you know it's going to be a fun night. Well, I've learned to incorporate that at the end of my set. Like if I'm playing a three-hour set, like at uh-huh. some of these restaurants and all that, I'll incorporate that song toward the end, and I'll make sure the crowd gets into it. 
and yeah. they do. <laughs> but that, that 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 one part, like where he uh, kind of breaks the song down, and he's talking about his mom getting yeah. out of prison, and then it hits back into that chorus. Yeah. It. I got cold chills right now thinking about it. It's <laughs> it's it's powerful. Yeah. I was drunk the day my mom got out of prison. And I went to pick her up in the rain. I don't oh, know if yeah. we can finish the song. And Steve, get... uh, it'll be a buddy of mine named Steve Goodman wrote that song. That's how he, <laughs> yeah. does it. he was so right, country music was just cool back then. You know, like nowadays you got Florida Georgia Line yeah. and Luke Bryan and all these dudes. It, it's it, it's more flashy and poppy yeah. than it is actual country music. 